When I was young, I used to read the Bible because my parents uh, are Christians and the Bible was part of our home life and um, I read the Bible from time to time but I also remember this kind of anecdote. I remember a time when I was working in an office in Glasgow and I was made redundant from my job and it came out of the blue. And at that time, I, the Bible was part of my life and I read it fairly regularly. But there was a Bible text above the piano in my parents' house that had been part of my youth and I'd never really paid it too much attention. And it said, in all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. That was the Bible text. And I remember uh, going in to see my boss and this sort of devastating news that was unexpected, out the blue, uh, my life was transformed in a moment. I was just made redundant. I was married, the family at this stage, so in a kind of fog of my mind, I walked back into my office and that Bible verse came into my mind. I hadn't thought about it for years and it just came into my mind at that moment in time. In all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. And that verse spoke to me. It was a loud and clear communication from God from the Bible. It was God's words actually being communicated to me at that moment. It was a very powerful thing because it just caused me to stop and think again and to again uh, realize what God meant to me and what he had done for me and what he was doing for me in my life at that time. And that just came into my mind as a very powerful moment that God spoke to me um, through his word. Well, usually when you open a book, the best place to start is at the beginning of a book. The Bible does actually read as a book you can go from beginning to end to it. But the Bible is not an easy book to read. And some people get put off because they just open the Bible at the beginning and they start to read in the book of Genesis and they read about creation. And then they run into some chapters of the Bible which are difficult to understand. And so my advice to people who want to start reading the Bible is the Bible is really all about Jesus. And he's the central figure in the Bible. And the beginning of the Bible is all about the anticipation of Jesus coming into this world. But I would advise someone, if you want to start reading the Bible, let's go to the story of Jesus. And that's what we call the New Testament. And in particular, there were four writers who wrote about Jesus' life and death and resurrection. Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. And I would recommend, sometimes people recommend the book of John. I like to recommend the book of Mark. Mark's Gospel. And it's a very fast-paced, fast-moving account of Jesus' life. And it speaks about lots of the things he did, lots of the things he said, and it will very quickly introduce you to this person who is central to the whole story of the Bible. And you can go from Mark then either way. You can go forward again into the Bible, or you can then go back and read about the anticipation of him through history, or you can read about what happened after Jesus died and went back to heaven and the church commenced and so on, and that would be you reading further into the New Testament. But Jesus is at the centre, and that's what I would recommend. Let's read the Bible, read about Jesus, come to know him, and the Bible comes to life uh, when you read the story of Jesus. The Bible is the, is the method that God uses to communicate to us. Um, it's called the Word of God. It's, and, and God speaks through the Bible. And what God has to say to us is found in the Bible. Um, the Bible says of itself that it's able to educate us about salvation and about Jesus and about God. And it's God's resource for us. Um, the Bible is a, is a means that God employs to bring us to his Son. And it's his Son that's crucial. Um, I'm not a Christian because I study the Bible. I'm not a Christian because I'm educated about the Bible. I'm a Christian because through the Bible I've come to know Jesus. And I have a living relationship. I trust Jesus as a person. Um, my relationship with God is through his own son, Jesus Christ. And the Bible is God's rich resource for me to know him, for me to be educated in him and how I ought to live for him and how God loves me and cares for me and wants to guide me in my life and it also helps me in my worship of God because the more I get to know about God then the more I can rejoice in God and can worship God and be more intelligent about the God that I love and serve 
and I'm going to spend eternity with. Sometimes I think that in our day, we, we live in a world that's so image-based, you know, whether it's Instagram um, or other methods of communication is very visual. And sometimes I think the Bible can be a real challenge. Now, whether we like it or not, God has chosen to communicate to us in words and in language and not in pictures. The language brings pictures to life, but nonetheless it's still language and it can be uh, particularly for a generation that's so used to visual communication, it can be off-putting. When you look at the Bible, rather than see it as a big, historical, weighty, religious uh, book that's off-putting, with some of it being very difficult, is to start small and to start with a realistic um, objective of looking into the Bible to, to find what will be of great benefit for you. Um, sometimes I say, look for Jesus. Uh, Jesus one day is walking down the road, the Bible speaks about this, and he's speaking to two people after he'd risen from the dead. And uh, they were looking for Jesus and they'd lost him. And so he introduced them to the Bible. And he actually went from cover to cover and showed these two people all the things that the Bible said about himself. So in my mind, it's a great thing. Look for Jesus. And then read the Bible so that you enjoy the Bible. Um, realistic um, expectations and objectives. Read the Bible joyfully. Um, listen for God, because God wants to speak, and that's his method of speaking. Um, read the Bible with variety. So I think sometimes it's helpful. I'll say, why don't you read a few verses in Mark's Gospel? And then why don't you try reading a few verses out one of the Psalms? The Psalms are poetry, songs, but they're based upon people's experiences of life and God. And when you're reading then a bit about Jesus, and then you're reading a bit about the reality of life and the challenges of life, it's amazing how the two can connect together. And uh, you find that person has actually experienced the same as me and they lived thousands of years before. We're not that different. And there's Jesus, he is he's very different and yet he is connecting with people who are just the same as me. And you will find that when you read the Bible for Jesus and you read the Bible to connect to your life, you find that the Bible changes. And you find that rather than it being a task to do or a burden, it becomes something attractive, joyful. In fact, the Bible speaks of itself like being like bread to eat or water to drink that it strengthens you and it also refreshes your soul. I've read the Bible sometimes and come across bits in the Bible and being absolutely mesmerised. I didn't know that God had something to say about that. And I'm amazed that God knows me so well, that he knows what's in here and he knows what's in life round about that I have to experience. And then that to me draws me back to the Bible. And I found this as well, that there are sometimes I read things in the Bible and I pray to God and ask God for help, for God to be that in my life. You know, I read things like God is strong, God's a, a refuge, God is all these things. And I say to God, I really need that in my life. I need you to be that in my life. But if I hadn't read the Bible, I wouldn't know that that's what God is and that's what God can do.